need more coins but don't want to do solos check out my coin sponsor at ultimate coin service check the description for a link and use code osiris for five percent off what's good youtube it's the young osiris back at it again with another youtube video i am here today to talk about the youtube partnership and my experience with it so beginning uh no starting off the video i got some call of duty gameplay I suck in Call of Duty, I'm trash, it's just, you know, just some background stuff going on, just in case you don't want to look at the face cam the whole time, you got some gameplay to look at if you're into that kind of stuff. But, to the topic at hand, YouTube partnerships. So, beginning now with my YouTube career, I wasn't making no money at all. So, later on throughout the years, I started making a little bit more money, but it wasn't meeting the YouTube threshold every month. So I decided to apply for a partnership with Curse. Curse, the only reason why I applied with them because they will give you your money that you earn every single month. And um, I needed that because I like to open up packs and stuff like that. So I partnered with them and the only downside from them was they'll take 10% on top of the 30% that I believe YouTube takes. So once I started meeting the threshold for YouTube while I was still partnering with Curse, I got smart and I was like, I don't even really need Curse no more because they're taking 10% out of uh, my earnings and I'm earning over the threshold for YouTube, which was $100 a month. So Curse, they would give me my $30, $40 a month that I was earning when I wasn't meeting the threshold, but I started meeting the threshold. So I decided to let go of my network. Little did I know, once you let go of your network, if you're in the YouTube partnership and in the network, it dropped me from both of them. So I had to reapply for the YouTube partnership, but the, the requirements was already met to me because I already had over 2,000 subscribers and I had a lot of watch time. It was over 4,000. So I thought they were just going to have a bot to like boom, 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 you're approved. Didn't work out like that. So I dropped my network February 13th. I should have something popping up somewhere on the screen. I dropped it February 13th. And um, I thought that as soon as you drop it, like you're gonna get approved because you have everything met. No, that was wrong. I was completely like lost. I was like, what's, what's going on here? So I um, I applied and everything went green. The, the four things like no three things out of the four things went green the last one it said it was under review and it said at the top that it was taking longer than normal for them to review accounts so i thought it was just going to be probably like one or two days <sighs> i was wrong yo i was really wrong it took them 17 days i got approved march 2nd which was like i think that was five days ago i meant to make this video earlier but hey oh well so it took them over two weeks and three days so i was left clueless for two weeks and three days they said they were going to email me i actually didn't even find out through email even though they did send me the email but i looked on my google creative studio and it said i was approved so once i was approved i was excited as hell but throughout those two weeks i was still grinding videos i was still making videos because youtube is what i want to do so one thing I did want to address in the video, people, some people were saying that YouTube is like killing smaller channels and like doing all this crazy stuff. I don't think it's killing smaller channels in my opinion. I just think um, that the smaller channels just have to grind. Like when I was a, I'm still a small channel, but when I didn't meet the requirements for this now YouTube partnership requirements, um, I wasn't making no money, so I was just uploading content just because I wanted people to see what I had to offer. So I just think that smaller channels have to do the same thing. Like, I was actually in your situation, in your position. I knew I was going to get approved, but I was making, I was not making money for two weeks straight in three, two weeks and three days straight. So I know how it is. I know how I feel to not make no money. And even if you are a smaller channel, you're not making that much money anyway. Like you're, you're, you're not making that much money. Just, I know. So if you really want to, you know, do this YouTube thing, you're going to keep grinding like everyone else. You're going to keep grinding for that watch time. You're going to keep grinding for them subscribers. I know it's hard. I did it, you know, but 
yeah man there's some light at the end of the tunnel hopefully this helps someone out because yeah it took him two weeks and three days to approve me and i i had everything that i needed so i don't know why it took so long but yeah that's just my little youtube partnership story uh if this helped you out thanks for watching uh all that good stuff leave a like comment subscribe if you like madden content then subscribe if you don't like madden content um yeah then just leave a like and leave a comment but thank you guys for watching salute to realms i'm out peace